Well, hi, we're back again, and our first guest this morning is an author, and his name is Jack Fertig. Jack, so glad to have you here. My pleasure. It's wonderful, because I love to, to talk to authors and try to figure out what makes you want to write, you know? What, 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 how long have you wanted to write? Well, it's not so much want to, but um, I guess you have certain skills. Mm -hmm. This happens to be one of mine, <laughs> and um, I can't think of too many others. So <laughs> if that's all you have, you might as well go with, you know, go with what you got, right? Not sure. Well, I know that you've been here before talking about your first book, which was this one, right? Right. Life, life's a joke. <laughs> And that's already, uh, just the title makes me laugh. <laughs> and uh, all of these little characters that, and apparently it's stories about different people, right? Right. Well, what they are, and this is what I mentioned um, prior, uh, pretty much anybody can write a book like this. Mm -hmm. It's just observations that you make throughout your life. And as long as you can see the humor aside, it, they make for funny stories. Now you have to be able to tell a story, and that's one thing I'm pretty good at. Oh. Telling stories and writing, I guess. Uh, I think I just ran through the whole gamut of everything I'm good at. <laughs> well, that's great. I, you know, I think writing is so important because everybody has something they want to want to put forth and and to study and to watch. And then you put it into a book so other people can do the same thing. They can, they can get the joy out of your writing. Yeah, especially uh, today where it's not the most upbeat time to live uh, unless you decide to make it that way. And this is just, a, you know, some people have told me these are great bathroom books. <laughs> okay, well... Uh, then the, this is the new one now, right? So right. We, we talked about this one the last time you were here, and now we've got life still a joke, <laughs> and your people have matured. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah, I've, I've upgraded the artwork. So you you have these are stories of people that you were with in your lifetime. Doing well, I've I coached in college, nine different colleges over thirty years. And uh, then I taught, uh, for, for those who do know me, I worked for Jerry Tarkanian, who was the basketball coach at Fresno State. Oh. Uh, and worked his seven years, and then after, I was the host of his radio show for another seven years. Wow. And uh, after he retired, I went and taught at Buchanan High School and coached there. Um, and these are just... You know, students and the ex and players and the excuses they come up with, or parents, <laughs> uh, some administrators. Uh, you know, and and what I found with this second book are people come up to me and say, you know, I, I'm a teacher and I can relate to these things. I I got just as many stories. For the next book, come and see me and I'll tell you some stories because you can really <laughs> tell. I can't tell a story, but. I have some experiences, and I've heard that from coaches and um, administrators as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one was more about college stories. Second one, uh, there are some college stories, but uh, a lot of high school. I worked Michael Jordan's basketball camp for oh. 15 years. Wow. And, uh, yeah, there's a whole section on stories about the camp. We used to get... Uh, 250 kids from China uh, and and the you know obvious problems you're going to have with communication oh uh, we we'd get kids from maybe I don't know 15 or 20 different countries uh, we'd have a couple hundred from Mexico each session so we'd have about 900 wow a session two sessions a year and he did it for 22 years Gosh. Um, so they're they're these stories that just they put a smile on your face and this is a time when a lot of people need to put smiles on their faces that's for sure that's for sure is a possibility that you might read something out of the one of the books about the well new one? yeah i um 
I'll give you a couple. One, I had a girl uh, in class. I taught math, mm-hmm. uh, algebra, and she was, it was just a foreign language to her. To me, too. <laughs> as, well, as hard as she might try. And um, she was a cheerleader. Mm-hmm. And I saw the cheerleading coach, and she asked me, how's she doing in your class? And I said, well, let's put it this way. If I asked her what came next in the sequence, two, four, six, eight, blank, her answer would be, who do we appreciate? So, <laughs> and, and you, you get several kids, you know, who um, struggle, and, and it was simply Algebra 1, so it was basic, and you had some kids who were really good in some areas, math usually not being one of them. Um, I know, uh, I told you the last two guys I worked for in college were in the Hall of Fame. Uh, one guy, George Raveling, at his uh, Hall of Fame breakfast for friends, uh, one of his former athletic directors is a guy named Sam Jankovich, mm-hmm. who ended up being um, uh, president of the New England Patriots. And Sam had a really quick wit. Uh, so George went around the room and was thanking all the people there. And he got to me and he said, you know, when, when Jack first came out, he was working for us at Washington State. And um, he didn't get paid anything. And he turned to Sam and he said, Sam, how could you do that to him? And Sam looked and said he was overpaid. <laughs> so... <laughs> So oh as long as you can, you know, see humorous side of things, it's uh, usually a better way to look at things. I think it, it keeps you more upbeat uh, because there are plenty of things to get you down. Oh, that's for don't turn television on. <laughs> anyway, anyway, this sounds really great because if you like sports, I bet you there's a lot of sports. Oh, yeah, there are a lot of sports. Uh, There's a whole section on Jerry Tarkanian and the stories that he has. He's he's had some, um, anybody who knows him knows what a character he is. Uh, And what I'm doing now is if you buy the the new book, I uh, send you the first one as well. Oh, that's a deal. Well... The first one was written in 2001. I know I was speaking with Richard <laughs> earlier, and uh, I ended up having to self-publish. Uh, I, I thought I could get it published. I got uh, a rejection letter about two and a half months after I sent it to a publisher, and I realized that um, you know, Stephen, uh, uh, no, uh, Stephen King got 26 rejection letters before he was finally published. And I realized I wasn't as good as he was. So I decided to self-publish, um, got all the stuff done. I was waiting for it. I called the printer. Is it ready? He called me one day, and he said, I can have them for you. He called me on a Monday. He said, I can have them for you Friday. Uh, Tuesday was 9-11. So I realized oh, that's, that's as the service. Twin Towers were coming down, <laughs> I'm coming out with a book in three days called Life's a Joke. Oh, my God. So I, Didn't fit. <laughs> no. And then th- all the stories I had forgotten and the things that happened subsequent 17 years and people telling me, when are you going to come out with another one? That's the impetus for the second one. Well, that's great. And where can people get these wonderful books? Well, you can get it uh, on Amazon. Mm-hmm. Or if uh, for people of my vintage and uh, they're not too familiar with Amazon, you can go to my website, which is jackfertig.com. That's and easy. It'll give you, right, <laughs> and it'll give you three other options on, on how to buy it. That's fantastic. And thank you so much for coming in. Please, when oh, you do the you. third book, or even when you do, <laughs> come on in again. <laughs> I'll do it. Hold the seat for me. Okay, thank you so much for coming in. We'll be right back. 